Welcome everybody, Sean Ray here for another news report at Flex and Muscle and Fitness. I just got back from Phoenix, Arizona, meeting with one of our major sponsors for this year's Mr. Olympia, Jake Wood, the CEO of Wings of Strength, and of course the Wings of Strength champion, Ms. Elena Popa. And uh, I wanted to find out a little bit more about what their footprint is here in our industry, being that they are the largest sponsor. They've only been around for about five years. They've got about um, three champions of the, the major Wings of Strength, which is Margie Martin, the marvelous one, Halle Trevino, and of course, Alina, uh, Alina Popa are the three biggies that have won the Phoenix Rising Championships, the international show out there in um, Phoenix, Arizona every September. It's coming up again September the 7th, one week before the Mr. Olympia weekend. Uh, women's bodybuilding, the Ms. Olympia, has been missing from the landscape of the Olympia weekend uh, since about 2014 maybe about five years or so. And of course, Iris Kyle was the last one to win that title, one of her many, she got 10. And uh, I was sitting down talking with Jake Wood and of course, Alina and asking them, you're keeping the, the women's movement alive. We watched Margie Martin win two back-to-back -back shows over in Toronto and again over in Omaha just this past couple of weeks. And um, she's looking every bit a Miss Olympia champion. And um, Women's bodybuilding is not dead by any means as uh, the Wings of Strength shows around the country, Puerto Rico, Toronto, um, coming up August the 1st out in Tampa, Florida with Tim Gardner. Of course, the Rising Phoenix in Phoenix, Arizona in September. These shows are very popular, well attended. The one over in Romania was a huge hit last November. And of course, Brandon Curry will be guest posing there the first week of November. But I went out there to see what was really going on in the desert. And it seems like there's a very good operation to uh, allow these ladies a place to showcase their physiques and uh, not let their dream die of having fulfilling their goals. These women are out there training just as hard as the men. Uh, they're showcasing their physiques at these Wings of Strength shows sponsored by Wings of Strength and Jake Wood. And uh, the idea that potentially a Ms. Olympia, the, the, the buzz about the Ms. Olympia returning to the Olympia landscape is huge. It's enormous. I've been talking to a lot of men and women asking what their thoughts were because uh, at present, the Women's Ms. Olympia Championship has gone the way of the 8-track, the way of the payphone, uh, the way of the cassette recorder and the, the VHS recorder. I mean, it just disappeared. And we are left with these other shows that Jake Wood is trying to keep alive with the Wings of Strength and very successfully, I might add. But there's something special about the Ms. Olympia Champion. When you start talking about Ms. Olympia, you got to go all the way back to the Pioneer. Rachel McClish won the very first show in 1980, and of course she was succeeded after that by the Finnish Kiki Ioma, and then Rachel McClish won it again in 1982 to solidify being a two-time champion. Carla Dunlap came along in 1983, and of course we had the, the beautiful and wonderful Miss Corey Everson run uh, rampant over the, uh, the Miss Olympia title for, I think, six victories from 84 on. And then of course we saw Linda Murray come into the fray and Kim Shizewski. Um, and later on, we saw it kind of being split up into two divisions. We saw Andrella Blanchett, Diana Cadu, uh, Valentina Chapiga, and of course, Iris Kyle was just killing the game. And then, boom, it just disappeared. Arnold Classic, it disappeared. Well, I got to tell you guys, right now, there's some movement. There's some conversation, some serious conversation with a lot of weight behind them taking place that potentially the return of the Miss Olympia could be real. Maybe not in 2019, but 2020 could be a very strong possibility that we could see these ladies battling. So what do we want to see? What's the good part? I mean, the women just taking their bodies to the extreme. What's the downside? Maybe the women taking their bodies to the extreme. It's a very chauvinistic attitude for a lot of the men, but also some of the women didn't necessarily care for the extremism of the ladies' physique. So how do you corral that? How do you just not put the same product back out? The judges will have their work cut out. Should the Miss Olympia return... And they're going to have to figure out what they want to represent as a woman bodybuilder with women's physique right there. And of course, women's figure and, and a step up from the women's fitness and, and bikini. The women bodybuilders are definitely uh, in a class in a league of their own. How big, how strong? Well, it reminds me of the pumping iron to the women where you had Rachel McClish and, and Beth Francis battling it out. Two totally different athletes. But the, the landscape for women's bodybuilding is alive and well. Should the Miss Olympia Championship return in 2020? Um, I think there will be a very strong sentiment that they should resume their rightful place at the Olympia weekend. What do you guys think? Let us know here at Muscle Fitness and Flex for the Sean Ray Report.
Sean Ray.